Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we'll be creating a microorganism with glossy body and soft and smooth tentacles. To design this, we'll first create the body using the ellipse tool. We'll use various layer modes to get the effect. We'll also create art brushes to draw the tentacles using the brush tool. So let's begin our tutorial. Open a new illustrator document. Set the size to A4 and click OK. Next, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle for the background. We'll fill it up with gradient color. Then open the gradient panel and change the type to radial. Now double click on the left slider and change the color to dark blue. For the right slider, first increase the opacity to 100% and set the darkness to 90%. Now using the gradient tool, set the position. We'll do some adjustment with the colors. Now lock the rectangle using the shortcut command or control tool. Next, we'll start designing the body of the micro. So select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Fill it up with black color. Now to add inner glow, go to filter style inner glow. Under inner glow panel, change the color to blue. Set the mode to normal, increase the opacity to 100% and the blur value to 12 points. This will add a soft inner glow to the circle. Next using the wrap tool, we'll modify the shape to give it an organic look. Click and drag to adjust the shape. Use anchor point tools to make sharp corner smooth. Next create one more circle using the ellipse tool. Apply gradient color and change the type to radial. We'll adjust the gradient slider. Shift the blue color slider on the edge and the empty slider to the left. Adjust the color using the color sliders. Give deep blue color and also change the layer mode to screen. Next, again using the wrap tool, modify the shape. Adjust the sharp vertices using the anchor point tool. Now create a duplicate of this shape using the shortcut command or control C to copy and command or control F to paste in front. Scale on the size. Remove the fill color and add blue stroke color. Next, we'll add an effect to the strokes. So we'll create an art brush. Draw a small rectangle, create a duplicate and scale up the size horizontally. Now send the large rectangle to back and reduce the opacity to 0%. We'll add blending effects so go to object blend, blend options. Here set the spacing to specify distance with one point and click OK. Then using the blend tool, first click on the small rectangle, then on the bigger rectangle. This will create a blending in steps. Now we'll convert this into art brush. So open the art brush panel, select new art brush, choose art brush and under art brush panel set the weight to 50%, change the direction to right and the colorization to tints then click OK. Now select the circle and apply the stroke from the panel. Set the stroke size to 0.5 points. Select the second shape and apply the same strokes. Choose blue color from the color swatches and set the stroke thickness to 0.75 points. Now select the smaller circle and reduce the opacity to 75%. Now we'll create the vein effect. To create that, first we'll create a new art brush. Select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Create duplicate and scale down the size. Reduce the opacity of the bigger circle to 0%. Now select the small circle. And with the blend tool, click on the first circle, then on the second circle. This will create a blending in steps. Next, choose new brush on a brush panel and create a new art brush. Change the colorization to tint, reduce the width value to 50% with the direction pointed to right, then click OK. After this, you can delete the shape. Now select the brush tool with a round brush stroke. Choose blue color and set the stroke thickness to 0.25 points. Now with free hand, we'll draw some curves surrounding the central region. Maintain smooth and curvy flow. To apply this to the whole circle, select all the curves, scale it up a little and create a duplicate. Rotate the angle and set the position around here. Create two more duplicates and fill up the empty space. Now select all the curves and apply the art brush which we have created. Set the stroke thickness to 0.25 points and we got a soft vein effect. Next, we draw out another set of curves. This time, we'll make it little longer than the previous one. Draw it out carefully with free hand. Now, select all the curves and create duplicate to cover the whole circles. Rotate the curves to get the perfect angle and place them properly. Next, select all the curves and apply the circular art brush. Then set the stroke thickness to 0.5 points. We'll apply deep blue color from the color picker. Select the remaining two curves and apply the same effect. Now, we'll draw out some tentacles. So again using the brush tool, with the stroke thickness 0.25 points, start drawing out long curves. 
with some curly ends. For this design, we'll draw it in cluster of 4 to 5 curves. Then select all the curves and create duplicates to complete the whole circle. Change the color to blue on a color picker panel, then apply the circular arch stroke. Set the stroke thickness to 0.2 points and group it up using the shortcut Command or Ctrl G. Now create a duplicate of the complete tentacles. Rotate it to an angle and choose deep blue color from the color swatches. Select all the curves having the vein effect and apply the same color. Now set the layer mode of long curves to screen. Do the same for the second group and reduce the opacity to 69%. Now we'll add glossy effect. So create a circle using the ellipse tool. Give white stroke color and increase the stroke thickness to 8 point. Now under stroke panel, choose profile tool, change the layer mode to overlay and add Gaussian blur from effect blur Gaussian blur. Set the radius value around 4.6 pixel and click OK. Next, create a duplicate of this effect. Scale on the size for the second circle. Rotate them to give different angle. Create one more duplicate for the smallest circle. Now select the first effect and create a duplicate using the shortcut Command or Ctrl C to copy and Command or Ctrl F to paste in front. This will increase the highlight. Do the same for the other two effects. Edge the opacity of each of the circles. For the central one, set the opacity to 53%. For the mid one, set 60% and for the last, set it to 80%. Edge the Gaussian blur value for each of the effects to give soft blending. Now, we'll add sparkling effect. So we'll create an art brush, select the line tool and draw a horizontal line. Give 2 point thickness and change this color to black. Create a duplicate and rotate it vertically. Select both the lines and choose profile tool to give corner pointed. Now open brush panel to create new brush. Choose scatter brush and under scatter brush option, do certain adjustments and click OK. Now draw the effect using the art brush. Double click on the brush to open the option. Here we'll do adjustment with the values. Set the size to 29%, spacing to 61%, scattering to minus 22%, rotation to minus 28% and set colorization to tint then click OK. It will open a box. Choose Apply to Strokes. Now draw out a circle same size of the highlights and apply scatter brush. Create a duplicate for the other two highlights. Now select all the three and change the layer mode to overlay. Next, we'll change the dimension of the artboard and adjust the background gradient color. Now we'll do further adjustment in Photoshop. Select all and drag and drop it to new Photoshop document. Scale up the size. Here we can see the glossy effect have sharp edges. So, double click on the smart object to open the editable illustrator file. Increase the blur value of each of the highlights and save it. It will be updated in Photoshop file. Next, create a duplicate of the smart object. Change the layer mode to multiply and set the opacity to 10%. Now add brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Set the brightness value to 4 and the contrast to 10. Then add hue and saturation adjustment layer. Set the saturation value to plus 7 and the hue value to plus 3. Now we'll add some details in the background. So add a new layer and change the layer mode to color dodge. Choose a dotted brush from the brush panel, open brush attributes and start applying the dots in the background. Once done, add one more color dodge layer and add highlights over the tentacles. Next, we'll add new layer for lights. Draw out a spectrum of white light using the soft brush and change the layer mode to color dodge. Add layer mask to hide out the lower region. Finally, type out Micros for the title, choose Gabriella regular font and change the layer mode to color dots. Create duplicate and type graphic design, scale down the size and apply Gotham regular font. Finally, we have completed designing a micro. During this process, we have understood the advanced use of Artbrush. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.